my name's Carol Balfour. I'm the director and co-owner here at Newson Design. Uh, my name's Henry and I'm a development engineer here at Newson Design. So what that involves is the design and engineering predominantly of the medical devices and life science products we work on. But I also get involved in the testing, uh, industrialization and commercialization of those products too. Newson Design are a company that design and develop medical products and life science products for a range of different companies. We're a small company, there's only six of us, so there's no hierarchy here. So I will work on every aspect of the design, development and detailing of the product. We all in the company have different specialisms. Uh, mine tends to be in injection moulding, but I'm also responsible for running the day to day of the business. So we have we have three uh, Form Labs printers. Uh, we have a Form 3BL, a Form 3B and a Form 3. Um, the 3BL allows us to print uh, biomedical materials and also in larger formats. Um, and then the other two smaller ones, one can be used for biomedical materials and the other can use the, the full range of materials that we use. It gives us a really good access and means we can have the printers running all the time as well. So I think with, with, for, with the 3D printers, there's a number of things that it benefits us. We have a, a full range of engineering materials. They're quick, they're cost effective. They allow us to make parts uh, very quickly and allow us to show our clients, you know, the parts that they need without having to get things done, injection molding or machined. Just enables us to be quicker and more agile. And I think with the, the introduction of all the biomedical materials, that's been really helpful because, um, we're looking at using more 3D biomedical products in actual real production. I suppose, uh, one thing that's good for us is that we can run the printers overnight, so we're not having to manage them. Uh, the engineers have full autonomy, so they can use the printers whenever they want. Um, it just allows us for more flexibility and to offer some more services that not doesn't necessarily bring in as a lot of um, finance, but allows us to provide a little bit of added value to our customers. So traditionally we, we used uh, FDM printed parts to test our products and prototypes. However, using the Formlabs SLA printers, it allowed us to print a wide range of materials from Tough 2000, which is like ABS, to elastic, uh, to biomedical components too. So this really allowed us to test um, our products as close as possible to the final materials that we will be using um, to get an accurate result and interpretation of what they're going to be like. Solid Print 3D have, have been great. They offer a large range of printers, uh, materials. The customer service is excellent. Uh, delivery times are great. Um, the software is something we can integrate into using with the 3D printers. And I also like the fact that when we buy a tank of resin, uh, a tree gets planted. So overall, we've had a uh, really good uh, service from Solid Print 3D. So because Formlabs offers such a wide range of materials, we can print a wide variety of parts, such as um, parts that will be prototyping for devices, um, elastic parts for mouthpiece adapters on inhalers, um, to functional parts such as um, parts I've used on creating my own CNC machine. In terms of return on investment, I think the two smaller, the Form 3B and the Form 3, they basically, uh, in about three months, paid for themselves. Uh, the Form 3BL is slightly bigger, slightly more expensive, and we don't use it as much. So I, I reckon it's going to probably take about a year for us to fully see the return on that. The benefit of these printers is just that we have, we can simulate the different types of materials that we use in medical. In medical design, it's difficult because a lot of the time you just can't 3D prototype things on like an FDM machine, you have to make them as accurate as possible. So the Form 3, lab, the Form 3 Labs printers allows us to do that quickly and accurately without having to go through multiple expensive uh, tooling changes. It also allows us to do a lot more complex geometry that not necessarily standard approaches could, could, could do. 
So traditionally we could make these parts through a variety of methods from CNC machining, injection molding and back casting but all of these processes can be costly and have a long lead time. So having the availability and option of performance printers in-house really cuts down the cost and time of prototyping new devices and test equipment. Every project is slightly different and we will sometimes go into projects at different stages but we've recently um, finished a project that took nine months from specification to uh, a finished feasibility prototype. So from that, our customer approached us, asked us to design a, an organ transplant system in America. Uh, it started off by us getting the specification and then we started very quickly sketching out some concepts then we started prototyping which is allows us to do something allows us to get into prototype a lot quickly and then we started looking at some of the parts needed to be machined after we 3d printed them and proved out the principle uh, and then from that we made a, what i'd call a mock-up and we actually did some animal testing on that mock-up and then from there we had further feedback and some features and designs that we had to finish so we'll then go through a second iteration, probably even a third or fourth to be fair, where then we finalised the product and made a, a composite cover. We had a mixture of standard CNC parts and 3D printing parts to keep the cost down as this project was purely for feasibility. Um, that's been shipped off to America about, uh, four weeks ago, so we're hoping to get some feedback on that soon. So we have a wide range of customers and clients from NHS trusts to farm companies to uh, testing labs. Um, we can help them using the Formlabs printers by being able to provide rapid prototypes and quick uh, iterat iterations on our designs and be able to get those designs into their hands as quickly as possible. So I love the design and development side of the work that I do um, and also being able to print those designs out on the farmhouse printers, have them in your hands within a matter of hours is amazing. Um, and the work that we do here at Newson Design is really interesting work, getting to work on medical devices, life science products that could potentially save lives and uh, help people live better is uh, great to work on. So we've had a great internal response here at Newson Design from all the engineers um, using 3D printed parts. It allows us to be able to print out our designs within a matter of hours uh, compared to traditional methods such as CNC machining where we'd have to outsource that and wait a matter of weeks to be able to get a new design in our hands. I think um, it's more the benefit to our customer than, than, than us I suppose. It allows us to do iterations of design really quickly. For example, we could, we could design something in the morning and by the afternoon we've printed two or three different iterations off, off and therefore what maybe took a week will now take a couple of days. So the benefit is more towards our customer and saving time and cost. Plus they get to, a lot of customers need to see it um, in 3D, so it allows them to see it really quickly. Um, I think it helped with, with with the COVID and the pandemic. So we're able to you know, do video conferencing and show them in 3D. It, they still couldn't touch it, but it was much more beneficial than just showing them a CAD or a picture. So my experience with the Formlab printers have been great. Um, the software is amazing. You can set up a print with just one click. Um, and the printers themselves are really cost effective uh, and just the range of materials is perfect for the design and development process.